Even after Louisville head basketball coach Rick Pitino announced he would not be attending, the Atlantic Coast Conference opted to move forward anyway with this week's Basketball Media Day, assembling coaches, players, and journalists from throughout the league's footprint in Charlotte for a day of interviews, pictures, and gathering B-roll footage that can be used all season long, like banners in a ballroom or Bobby Crimmins checking his Snapchat. With Duke, NC State, and UNC's football teams all well above 500 and primed for some meaningful late-season games against one another, Sports Channel 8 is still in pigskin mode. And after seeing basketball's national championship trophy return to Tobacco Road following a brief absence, we'll assume all is right with the world of ACC hoops and that UNC or Duke or, heck, maybe even UVA will be at the Final Four. We did, however, send correspondent Ross Martin down to Charlotte to talk to some of your favorite players. Cam Barber from North Carolina State University. Justin Jackson, University of North Carolina. My name is Jamel Artis. Xavier Atan Mays. I weigh 212. BJ Anya. Marcus Georges Hunt. Sheldon McClellan. Demetrius Jackson. High four slash center. And some of your least favorite media members. Uh, Steven Schramm from the Fayetteville Observer. Adam Gold from 99.9 The Fan. Uh, Martin Rickman with Dime Magazine and Uprock Sports. Andrew Carter, Raleigh News and Observer and ask them about their favorite Halloween costumes. Ready? For my first Halloween, I was Simba from Lion King. The full Richie Tenenbaum. There's always Darth Vader, the classic. Made my own homemade Darth Vader costume. Darth Vader, which I'm actually wearing Friday. Took an old baseball uh, batting helmet, turned it around, put some cardboard on it, put some cardboard on my chest, and I thought it looked cool, and it didn't. That's what I was playing on Don't Be Superman on Halloween. Spider-Man. 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 Because I got bit by a spider one time and I thought I was Peter. I like doing the web. I'll be Batman. Uh, probably seeing SpongeBob out there. One year I went as a firefighter and I thought I kind of found my career path. Fortunately, I didn't. The uh, Zach August uh, 2014 Street Fighter costume. A five-man Hickory Hoosiers outfit, uh, Myrtle Beach Club. Works very well. You can stretch it out a little bit. I wore the red helmet. The black raincoat, I think, that belonged to my grandfather. Quartet that did Sesame Street characters, and I was Oscar the Grouch. We didn't really assign roles, so I like to think I was Chitwood. And then I think we uh, actually, with uh, masking tape, taped fire department on the back of the black raincoat. I had a trash can that I put around my, that I taped around myself. And the Channel 4 News team. My fairy princess costume, until I was like... 15. Brick Tamlin and the whole crowd. This is going to date me here. I went as Harpo Marx. Gray sports almanac for a Back to the Future party last week. Blonde curly hair, big oversized jacket, the horn. One Halloween I went dressed as a Quaalude. These two dudes last year at BC were walking around like a in a cardboard box like they were a car. My son, Coleman, at 30 years old, who had to go to work on the train in Chicago dressed as a duck. The Purge, the whole team would be like the Purge. We're thinking about doing it, but we have practice the next morning. Has to be a Michael Myers mask. I actually hate Halloween. And they had to walk together in unison everywhere, and it looked really weird, but it was funny. I do not have one. I don't celebrate Halloween. When you watch the, when you watch the movie, Michael Myers, when you watch it, it just, like, just comes out of nowhere and just scares you every single time. A synchronized swim team and swim caps, goggles, speedos, nothing else. Michael Jackson get up with the Thriller jacket. One Halloween I went dressed as a journalist and people bought it and so I'm still doing it. It was also snowing. Any wrestler because you get to wear a title belt. If I had to choose one, I'd dress up like Carmelo Anthony. Don't tell nobody else. And you get to throw out wrestling moves all over the party just crushing fools. Captain Underpants. You know what I'm saying? I see some of my duels, hilarious. I liked it. And it wasn't my idea, but I went along for the ride. We dressed up as a sperm bank. One of them was the bank, and the rest of us were, you know, a girlfriend dressed up as a pumpkin. Problem being, we walked into a bar, and everybody thought we were KKK. So that took some explaining. And the guy was wearing a shirt that simply said, Peter. And we'll leave it at that. Happy Halloween from Sports Channel 8. Go ahead. Tucker, Mc, Tucker McLaughlin, South Boston News and Record. What's your favorite Halloween costume? Me, personally? Yeah. See, it's been so long since I did Halloween, I can't even remember what I did. I don't know. The only thing I can say about Halloween is one of my favorite things about Halloween is the movie uh, E.T., right? Sure. And uh, I love the scene where they're all sitting out there 
I love the scene where they're all sitting out there getting ready to go to the Halloween parties and they've got uh, E.T. dressed up as, uh, who was that, Yoda? Uh, Is that right? I just think that's a cool movie and a cool reference to Halloween, E.T.